Hi everybody, it's me Kristen. If it looks like I just woke up, because I did. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to make this video about my new journal. It's called, um, let's see, Wreck This Journal. I got one for my friend Brandalina, and then I thought, oh, I need to get one for myself. Because it is so much fun. Okay, normally I don't like to wreck things, but this is really fun to wreck. Okay, because I got some, like, I can't show that address stuff, but I put some flowers in there. I did some weird crazy stuff. Uh, threaded some yarn. Um, I stuck some gum in here, so now it smells like peppermint gum. Here's a kitten bite. Kitten bites. I had Zoe bite the book. Um, let's see if I can show the gum. It's stuck together. Here's a scribbly page. <laughs> it's just silly, fun. And here's where I chewed on the paper. <laughs> um, here's where I crumpled it crumple the paper, put it back in. Um, oh, I want to show you my coffee page. Um, I dri dripped coffee. Here's my coffee page. I don't know if you can see that very well. <laughs> it's just a very fun doodle page. I haven't finished doodling yet. Um, way to sort of get out of your perfectionistic mode just by trashing this thing. I mean, it's not going to look good at all. It's just going to be like totally trashed. And um, It has different activities on each page, like trace your hand. So I made mine into a turkey <laughs> because it's close to Thanksgiving. And draw with glue. Um, create a drawing using a piece of your hair. Um, uh, find a way to wear the journal. Write down four letter words, etc., etc. Um, so I just started using this, and it's very. Lethar uh, lethargic, <laughs> very cathartic. Um, as you can see, it looks like hell, but um, it's really completely fun. I recommend. Here's they say, mail this journal to yourself, tape it up, and mail it. I haven't done that yet, but um, it really just made me feel great to do this, you know, just like, there's no, um, right or wrong way to do it, and, you know, most of the time we live, like, confined in this, like, we've got to be perfect, we've got to do everything right, it's got to look good, it's got to be the best of everything, at least some of us do, <laughs> and it is so confining in that space that you can't even... It drives you insane, you know? So, um, just this way to get out of your mind, you know, where you just, it's going to look like crap, it's going to be messy and ugly and not, not profound in any way and, you know, just like, it's not going to be a work of art or a, you know, great literature piece or anything, but it's just like, so freeing just to like color or um glue stuff together um you know i don't know why it's just like somewhere along the way we i got the impression or a lot of people got the impression that you had to be perfect and make everything beautiful and the best and um meaningful and worthy of having your hand touch it and, you know, but, um, 
I don't know why we learn that. It's very weird. So, yeah, so, I don't know. This journal is really great. She's written some other books. Anyway, it's called Wreck This Journal. You can't see the title now. Oh, here's the title. Wreck This Journal. <laughs> um, and it's a great exercise in having just being human, having fun, and, you know, I plan on taking it in the shower with me, because it says, take this book into the shower with you, okay, um, you know, normally we have to keep everything so pristine, and, you know, everything, so, I think I might get, like, another book like this, or just, it's, it's helpful to have the, um, actual prompts, like, do this to it, so it gets you started, so, like, in a normal journal, you know, with it being blank and stuff, you're always like, oh, I cannot desecrate this page. I must, you know, make something beautiful or wonderful on this page. <laughs> so, having the prompts to just destroy it, it just kind of gives you permission to, like, wreck it. <laughs> so, anyway, I just wanted to t tell you guys a little bit about that. Um, it's really fun, so I'm going to keep working on it and maybe get some more. So, anyway, we're having a big windstorm tonight, and um, I should probably go check on Squeaky because he's outside. He wanted to go out, but I hope he doesn't get blown away. <laughs> no, he won't get blown away. But um, I did hear this story about a dog in Chicago that got blown, like, a mile away or something in the wind. <laughs> This is so weird. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm not quite awake yet, so... Uh, I'm not really sure what I'm saying here. Just, ah! Okay, talk to you guys later. Bye!